story in mathematics is mostly about a direction right so moving from somewhere to your destination so that is the simple meaning of what a berry in mathematics so if you want to know much more about the direction maybe let's say you are standing right you are somewhere where you are facing is your north direction and then at the back of you will be your south and then maybe right or left it will be uh, east or west or forth uh, wherever you are you are standing so if you have a look at this picture here you can see that uh, this is a very nice picture assuming you are here right so where you are facing will be what your north direction here and then at the back of you will be what uh, your south let's say you are facing the camera right now is that okay so the left hand side will be the west and then the right hand side will be uh, the east direction so this is how simple uh, a bearing works for in mathematics by the way if you want to give a direction to someone maybe you must be facing the person right you must be facing the person that's just an assumption that is why in bearing most of the times you start with so the north pole what i mean by the north pole is that you have to start from here meaning that you are facing the person before you are giving that person what, a direction so that is why sometimes you take the measurement from what, the north pole direction okay now let's have a look at this question and see how to answer some of the questions or under Okay. from the question you are giving that if the bearing of p from q is uh, 281 degrees is that okay so very talks about what angle so what i'm having here is that they say a bearing of what p from q so p from q understand that english very well meaning that you are moving from what q so assuming this is your house this is your house here and then you are moving from here to uh, uh maybe either a school or anywhere right maybe a friend's house anywhere that you want to go so you are moving uh, uh from q right the word from is this is what your starting point so pay a close attention to that word the position uh, the preposition there is what from is that okay so meaning that you are moving from so this will be what your starting point okay the question says that if the bearing of p from q is what 200 and what uh, 81 so what i said earlier was that that is just a direction is that okay a direction in terms of what angle so you are giving a direction to a, a friend right maybe you are here you are giving the person a direction to go to this place is that okay so they say that that direction is what 80 281 degrees so you are taking the direction from the north is that okay so you are taking the measurement from this way up to that right okay so maybe the, the assumption or the idea behind taking the direction from the north can be that you cannot give someone a direction with uh, your face looking at a different direction then you are talking to the person at your backside it doesn't work like that is that okay so you must face the person so maybe that is just an assumption You're taking the assumption from what the north pole direction so you are taking that direction from what from here right this is what we are calling the north pole so from here so they say from here to what 100 sorry 281 degrees so from here to here uh, is what 90 degrees is that okay each one of these four guys okay let's see this is what i'm having here so here is 90 years or 90 years or 90 years or 90 right since we are taking the direction we must add them up is that okay so from here to here we give them what 180 and then from here to be 270 and then to here to here so to uh, 360 degrees so the whole of this one is what 360 degrees is that okay but here they say you are at what uh, 281 degrees so you just have to take that measurement from here to here we know that this is what 180 and then from here to here so 270 and then 281 will be somewhere here we don't need to take an accurate what, measurement here is that okay so 200 and what uh, 81 degrees will be will be will be here is that okay so 281 degrees will be on this one that's why i got this line from here to that point okay now now that we know that from here to here is so 270 we agree that so we are just left with all 11 to be added to all, that 270 to get all, our two, uh, 210 is that okay because we know that from here to this place we got uh, 270 but we are told that the direction is sort uh, 281 right so that's how i got my 281 subtracted by what uh, 270 that gives me 11 so meaning that here is this what 11 is that okay why are we doing all this we are doing all this thing because the question said that you should find the bearing of what key from from what uh 
uh, from P. Assume you, you, you return, your return. Maybe this is the first direction. You move from here to this place. So on your return, what is the angle that you, you, you pass before you get back to uh, your original destination? Okay. Now, if you hear it's what? Uh, 11. This this place is 11. We are having 11 here. So this guy, this guy here, just that small guy here will, be, will also be what? 11. The reason is that you have another name called alternate. Don't worry about that. So all that you have to pay attention to that. You see that small guy here, which is 11. This guy and this guy, the alternate that is the weight right so here will be 11 here will also be 11 so automatically I had here to be 11 we know that from here to here is so 90 you agree with me that from here to here is so 90 now that we want to know the the bearing so what I mean by that we want to know the direction the angle from this place to 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 this place is so we just need you remember the measurements we take the measurement from this guy right take the measure from here to to your to, to your, your, your your line is that okay so 90 plus 11 will give him 101 degrees so the berry of q from what uh p is what 101 degrees so this is how simple you find what some of uh, the berry look at this question again here we are having a compass berry so the you just need to understand this word here which is what compass the compass here maybe for understanding purpose d is what uh, maybe three 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 letters or maybe three figures and then most of the times you take that measurement from from the north or uh, the south right you either take the compass measurement or the bearing from the north or what from the south right so let's solve that question the question says that we are giving what uh 320 right 320 degrees and they say you should express that as what a compass or bearing here so the compass bearing as i, I said earlier on take that measurement from the north or from the south but maybe for understanding purpose, let's take that from uh, from the north. So that is something that we already know. Okay. Now, how do you take that measure? We are giving 320. So this is what 320. Remember, I said I take the measurement from the north direction, right? So from here, where exactly will 320 degrees will be here? So we know that from here to here is what 90. So 90 plus 90 will be what 180. 180 plus uh, 90 will be what. 270 and then we are giving 320 so 320 will be somewhere here because we know that everything is for 360 don't go like this right don't go like this you always move in what the clockwise direction okay so from here to this point is what 320 that's what we are giving they say we should express as well as a compass of direction or the compass of bearing so the compass bearing here look at something you can take that measurement from the north right from the north or from the south is that okay so maybe let's for our understanding purpose let's take that from the north okay from the north we know that here everything is so 360 degrees so here if it from here to this place is what uh 320 then what will be left here will be left with 40 right so let me change the pen here and then have the uh, correct measurement here so um let me use a different pen here. if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more content like this right so from here to here is what 320 we know that everything will be what 360 okay so here we'll be left with just 40 degrees do you agree okay and that is what 360 what minus or what you are giving which is what 320 so we are left with a zero four and then what? that is it so we are left with a 40 so here is what exactly 40 as i say earlier on the compass direction we take that from the north that north pole right north pole here or maybe from the south so if you are taking that from the north pole here is what 40 so this is how you are taking look at so you are starting from the north we are moving this way is that okay because we already given this one to be 320 degrees so taking the measurement from the north pole here will be what from here where are we going we are going to the what the west direction right so this is from the north and then we are moving to the west because this is where our line is so we are moving from here to what to the west so that's the side we got from the north which is 40 degrees to the west so this is how you write what the compass direction right so you are moving from what from from this guy from this guy here from the north to what to the west but because this guy here so to the west we are moving towards so the west direction okay so you are moving from the north at the angle of what 40 degrees so to the west okay this is how simple you solve some of uh, the bearing questions so under uh, mathematics or high school mathematics the last question says that the bearing of what uh, if from f right that way it says a uh, berry of what e from f meaning that we are moving from f so the starting point of your drawing should just be this cardinal point right you just need to draw this thing so where are we moving we are moving from f 
okay at what degrees at the degree of what 20 right you are taking the measurement from this place so you have got 20 degrees so maybe from here to here so 20 degrees right so this is how simple you start off, uh, your, your bearing or how to draw the, the the bearing so that is it we are having from what f to e right so the bearing of e from f is what uh 0 20 degrees remember that the bearing we normally use a three figures so 0 20 degrees this is what we are having from the question okay now so that is how i got my what 20 degrees here and then we are going to what uh, e house right so we are going to e house we don't care the the the, the angle here uh, at this moment so let's pay close attention now. now let's move on and that of g from e is what 140 degrees that's of what uh g from f sorry from e meaning that we are moving from what from e so here we are moving from this guy at the degree of what 140 degrees so from here to to here we know that that is what uh, uh 90 degrees right and then we are looking for what uh, uh 140 degrees so what to be the the, the the number here right what to be the number maybe i guess you should pause the video and uh, try that in the comment section Okay, if you here to here is what uh, uh, 90 degrees, then we are giving 140. That should be 140 and then minus 90, right? So 140 minus 90. Here should be what? Here should be zero, and then that should be that, that that should be 50, right? That should be 50, right? So here will be 50. So that small angle here at the time here should be what? Should be 50. Is that okay? Sorry, here should be what? 50, 50. Is that okay? Okay, now let's move on. Let's move on. The latter part says that if G is directly east of F, so if G is directly that guy, so G here, G here is what directly east of F. So they say you should find this angle, right? You should find this angle. So what that means is that this is G. We are directly what east of F. So we know that F is here. So yeah, remember this is the cardinal point. You have the north here, and then uh, you have what uh, here should be the east, and then here should be what in the west and then for the f here should be what is can you see that here should be east. this will be the south and this will be the north and then this will be the west is that okay but the sentence says that if g is directly east of f so this is the east right the east of f so this g is on directly on the east of f so that's how i got this line here so we are moving on the east of what f here to join what to join the g is that okay they say you should find this angle here so they say you should find this angle right so what is the angle right what is the angle here they say you should find this angle this is exactly where the angle is formed is that okay the angle is formed at what a g so the letter at the middle this is just the notations of what angle okay they so the angle we are looking for this angle meaning that look at something if you are looking for the angle you should look at this angle if you are taking the measurements you take the measurements of the angle with respect to this one right so maybe this line this line here the line from the left to the right that is where we take them we don't take the angle this is far different from our the bearing the bearing we take the bearing from the north pole right but here they say you should measure the angle so the difference between those two things the angle is measured on on this line right this line from the left to right to right so okay but the bearing is taken from the north right this line from top to down okay but here they say you should find the angle meaning that we are looking for this small angle here is that okay so how do you get this angle how do you, you see as i said earlier previously in this video i said that if you have here to be 50 so these two guys alternate is that okay that is the way if this small place is 50 that small here this small place will also go at 50 degrees right so that is this what the alternate angle is that okay if you don't want to hear that way maybe you can you can take that once here is what 50 here should also be 50 if this is making sense fine if it doesn't make sense maybe leave everything for the advanced mathematician maybe also to understand the concept and pass and move on to the next stage of your education so thank you for watching this video